Jupiter takes about 12 years to rotate around the Sun. It rep it's represented here by a walnut. Jupiter is a ball of dense gases that include hydrogen, nitrogen, helium, and water, among other gases. Jupiter has 39 known moons. Perhaps the best known of them is Europa, which appears to have ice on its surface. Scientists believe there may be an ocean of water underneath that ice that may be able to support life. Although Jupiter is 483.5 million miles from the Sun, there would still be enough heat from the core of the Moon to possibly have organisms that may live off chemosynthesis. Jupiter has a circumference of 279,118 miles and has small rings around it. And the, those rings are made up of small particles of dust and chunks of rock and ice. The average temperature on Jupiter is negative 234 degrees Fahrenheit. If you added up all the planets in the solar system, Jupiter would make up 71% of the mass. Saturn is an amazing 885,904,700 miles from the Sun. It is represented by a nutmeg here. It is, it is 37,449 miles in circumference. The average temperature on Saturn is a negative 288 degrees Fahrenheit. Saturn has a total of 31 known moons. Much like Jupiter, Saturn has light colored bands called zones and darker bands called belts. Saturn has been called the jewel of the solar system because of its amazing ring system that was first observed by Galileo in 1610. The rings are actually millions of ice and rock particles, some as large as a mile across. Even though Saturn is our second largest planet, its density is that of 0 0.70 gram per centimeters cubed. This means that if there was a toilet bowl large enough to fit Saturn into, it would float on top of the water. The universe is mostly empty space. Even in a crowded region like our solar system, the distance between planets are so vast that they are difficult to imagine. I'm walking here at about a speed of, I'd say, three and a half miles per hour. So basically, our calculations here with our whole scale system set up to represent 3,668,400,000 miles of space in our solar system. I am walking an average of 6,114,000 miles every second. That's the speed simulated here. Now, of course, that is totally impossible. Everyone knows that light travels at a speed of 186,283 miles per second. We are now approaching Uranus. It takes Uranus 84 years to rotate once around the Sun. Here, it is scaled down and shown as a coffee bean, which is scaled down 100,000 times. Uranus has 15 known moons. They're all made about 50% water and ice. Uranus is 84% hydrogen, 14% helium, and about 2% methane gas. The methane gives it its beautiful blue color. Uranus is 1,784,860,000 miles from the Sun. That means it takes light about 2 hours and 40 minutes to travel this distance. Uranus has a diameter of 31,763 miles. That's about four times the size of the Earth. The largest known star in the universe is the Pistol Star. An astronomer has estimated its mass of a hundred times that of our sun, and that it may have started out with as much as 200 times the solar mass material. The outer shell of this star reaches out four light years across, and it, if it was in the place of our sun, it would stretch all the way from our solar system to the next star, totally engulfing the whole solar system. This just shows exactly how small our sun is, and how relatively average our sun is, compared to some of the great giants out there in the universe. Ogle TR-122b is considered by many scientists to be 
the smallest star ever recorded or found. It is only 16% larger than that than the gas giant Jupiter, but it is approximately 90, 96 times as massive. This is because it is a exploding dwarf star. Um, I guess exploding isn't a good way to describe it. It has already imploded and all of the mass of the star has been condensed into such a small package that it is 96 times as massive or dense as Jupiter. Neptune is 2,795,084,800 miles away from the Sun. Neptune's radius is around around its equator is 15,388 miles, almost four times Earth's radius. It takes Neptune 164 years to travel around the Sun. Because Pluto's orbit is so eccentric, it sometimes crosses the orbit of Neptune, making Neptune the most distant planet from the Sun for a few years at a time. Its atmosphere is mostly hydrogen and helium with a small amount of methane. There is more than likely a small core about the mass of an Earth made of rocky material. Neptune's blue color is largely the result of absorption of the red light by methane in the atmosphere, but there is some additional as yet undefined chromophore which gives the clouds a rich blue tint. Neptune also has rings. One of the rings appears to have a curious twisted structure. Neptune has 13 known moons and it is the fourth largest planet in our solar system. Neptune has a stronger winds than any other planet in our solar system. Blowing in the westerly directions, winds in Neptune can reach up to 1200 miles an hour. The scooter is a cloud that moves around Neptune every 16 hours. Pluto is no longer considered a planet. It is a dwarf planet, meaning that it is large enough to have its own gravity, but not large enough to be considered a planet. Here it is, represented by the tip of this needle. To be honest, the tip of the needle is still too large for our scale, but it makes the point. Pluto is the most recognizable of the four dwarf planets officially recognized by the International Astronomical Union. There are others, three others to be exact, Ceres, Make Make, and Aries. Pluto is 1,423 miles in diameter. That makes it smaller than our moon. It orbits the sun once every 248 years. Because Pluto was discovered in 1930, that means it still has another 170 years to make it around the sun since its discovery. The distance from Pluto to the sun is an amazing 2.75 billion miles to 4.53 billion miles. It has four satellites. Pluto appears to be a giant snowball of methane and water. The temperature on Pluto would be around negative 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Since Pluto is so far from the Sun it takes light five and a half hours to reach Pluto.